ain't nothing better than peanut butter. Or, better yet, life is always better with butter. You're dropping a peanut. You need to say peanut. You nut, I nut, we all nut for a peanut. Now you're losing the butter. Ah, shit. Now we've all heard how the humble peanut has nourished hungry stomachs across this great land. Why don't we just go with the dog gag? You know, the... There. That doesn't make me want to buy peanut butter. I like it. That's annoying. But have you heard the tale of how the peanut nourished a great American mind? We can put it in a heart-shaped box. Mm. Or we can put it in a peanut-shaped box. Stupid. In a peanut-shaped box? Perfect. George Washington Carver. The father of our country's favorite snack. Wait! Isn't there already a George Washington Day? George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver Day is completely different. Picture George Washington, only black. And more peanut -y. More peanut buttery. Don't forget the butter dog. Ah, huh. uh, yes. I don't get it. Toy sales spike during Christmas. Turkeys on Thanksgiving, chocolates on Valentine's Day. Whiskey on St. Patrick's Day. George Washington Carver invented peanut butter and that deserves celebration. But there's no such thing as Black George Washington Day. And that's what we're here for. Picture this, the all-American family, mother, father, tucking in their little girl on George Washington Carver Day Eve. Visions of nut-based, hydrogenated, confectionery delights dancing mm. through their brains. She wakes up, walks down the steps on George Washington Carver morning. A creamy excitement fills the air. And if they're lucky, they were visited by George Washington Carver the night before, Ooh. carrying bags of officially licensed, old-timey Sutter peanut butter products. Mm -hmm. Or even better, perhaps they can go to the mall the next day where she could sit on his lap yep. and partake of his nutsack. Yep. Of his what? Uh, they, they would decorate the peanut trees with officially licensed ornaments. There's no such thing as peanut trees. Then we'll invent peanut trees. Just like George Washington Carver invented peanut butter! Invention is the spirit of George Washington Carver Day. Yes! <laughs> Mother in the kitchen baking peanut butter pies, mm. while little Susie's running through the house searching for delicious surprises. Is it creamy? Is it crunchy? Doesn't matter! What matters is smiling faces, decorative outdoor festivities, and a signature food product. Mm -hmm. And whammo! We have holiday magic that makes a mint! You see, people need a reason to spend money between the 4th of July and Halloween. If you'll notice, there's a huge opening between mm -hmm. August and October. This is a boring part of the year. People are dying to get something exciting. Thankfully for us, George Washington Carver's birthday happens to fall on July 12th. Scoot it up to August 12th and you eliminate the 4th of July madness. Although, we do want to capitalize on the great patriotic qualities of the George Washington Carver story. What exactly is the George Washington Carver story? <laughs> he invented peanut butter. That's the whole story? No! No, 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 no! no. There's, there's more. much more to it than Tons. that. In fact, so you know much what? stuff. We have some of our best guys researching yes, we all do. about this great man and his grandee. Yes, we do. Hey, Jimbo! Yes, Mr. August. Why don't you dig up some stuff for Mr. Carver for us, please, all right? Yes, Mr. August. What we do know is that he was a great American peanut mm, man. Very great. And handsome. And tall. Oh. How tall? Very oh. tall. <laughs> oh, Huge. Huge. In fact, why don't we find out just how tall he was? Hey, Jimbo, get back out of here. Find out how tall the guy was. <laughs> okay, the point is, is that Carver was a fine man who probably wrestled bears and fought communists and crossed the Delaware. He sounds like my kind of man. Yes, he is. He's America's is. man, uh -huh. Mr. Sutter, and that's why we're asking you to support you. the launch of George Washington Carver Day. George mm -hmm. Washington Carver Day. I like it! Oh, it's oh, perfect! Yes. Sticks to the roof of my mouth! Oh, <laughs> Breaking news. Go ahead, Jimbo, what is it? Well, George Washington Carver was 5 feet 10 inches tall. And get this, he didn't actually invent peanut butter. <laughs> Thank you, Jimbo! That'll be enough. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed. Um. You mean 
to tell me you invented a whole holiday about a man you know nothing about. No, there was well, definitely <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> well, invention is the spirit of George Washington Carver Day. <laughs> 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 Rum pum pum, rum pum pum, rum pum pum, rum pum pum. Cherry trees don't stand a chance when a hatchet's at his side. He sailed the seas in civil war, he could not tell a lie. Hina trees bowed to the floor as he walked on by. George Washington Carver, an all American guy. He traveled west on unicorns for the peanut of his eye. Grizzly bears crushed his nuts and he did not even cry. This brought forth peanut butter, no one can deny. George Washington Carver, an all American guy. George Washington Carver is on the American dollar With peanuts in his fists He crushed the communists With peanuts in his fist He destroyed the terrorists George Washington Carver, what an American guy Yeah!